This is Daniel Cook at the fire station. Hi, I'm here with Sean, and today he's going to teach me about firefighters. Hi, Sean. Hey, Daniel. How are you? This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. So, we've got a set of pants for you to try on. I think they're going to be a little big, though, Daniel. Probably. Yeah. This helmet's red because it's a captain's helmet. How's that And feel? red's one of my favorite colors. Is it mine too? Well, the helmet's made out of plastic, a, a composite plastic, and it, it's designed to take lots of impacts and keep your head safe in a fire. Neat? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, climb up, Daniel, into the driver's seat. So what do you think? Should we turn it on? Yeah. You okay. want to hear some noise? You yeah. want to make some noise? Yeah. Firefighters shouldn't take their hands off the steering wheel when they're driving because yeah. it's not safe. You should always keep two hands on the steering wheel. So what they do is they put the horn down here. Do you want to hear it? Okay. Should, I, should I test it? Sure. You think everybody's ready for it? Yeah. Yeah? Can I try? Okay, yeah, you can try too. Mm. I see these kinds of things. What do you think? <laughs> okay, that's good. What do you think? That's loud, mm. eh? Um, beacon, warning. Blah, blah, blah. And then you have to turn this, that dial, you have to turn it over twice and then turn it back. Do it real quick. One, two, and then turn it back. There you go. How was that? Cool. Cool? Amazing. I'll do it again. And that goes up over your head, all the way down. Take it. Deep breath. Deep breath, what do you think? Is it hot? Kind of. Kind of? And it works. It does work. And your voice sounds all funny. Yeah, kind of. It does. So this is what we try and tell little children when we visit schools. We tell them that not to be afraid of a firefighter when he looks and sounds like this because he's there to help you. This cupboard holds all of the medical equipment that the wow. firefighters carry. And it also holds a special stuffed animal so that when they run a call and there's a little child who's hurt, yeah. they can give the, the child the stuffed animal to help them feel a little better. What kind of stuffed animal is that? Dalmatian. A Dalmatian? That's kind of neat, eh? So all the water comes in from a hydrant, we control it here, and we can use all of the outlets on this truck and send water out to all different hose lines for people to use them to fight fires. I want to shoot a hose. You want to shoot a hose? Yeah. This is Daniel Cook spraying a fire hose. What do you think? So turn that. There you go. Oh, no, that's cool. That's cool? And then Let's if you see. turn it the other way, Woo. it makes it nice and narrow again. That's what do you neat. think? We're getting all wet! Yay! <laughs> when the firefighters are in the station and we get a call, it comes through into this room. We get tones on the PA system and we get a computer printout. And the tones come through. This is the alarm that sounds, so the guys know they get a call. They're on their way to a call right now. We just happened to be here when the tones went off. And they're gonna jump on the truck and head out. There they go. Sounded the alarm. Yeah. What do you think? That was cool. That was cool? Hi. Hey, Daniel. Down the pole, go down the pole, go hey, down the pole. There you go. Why 
Why is there water coming out of it? It's the water, it keeps all the water out of the boat. There's a pump that keeps pumping it out. So it I keeps the boat stable. I thought, I thought that you needed water in the boat to shoot the, to shoot the nozzle. Well, that's what the pump's doing, but it's just pumping it out of there. When they open the nozzles, all the water will come out of the nozzles. What do you think? This is cool. Thank you very much, Sean, for showing me about firefighting. It was fun. My pleasure. Thank you for visiting us.